That's my mentality, you know. I always want to go against the best, so I'm ready to take on the challenge. You know, it's going to be a challenge. You know, it's not easy to make it to the NBA. There's a lot of good basketballers out there. NBA talent's going to be in the G League as well, so I think that's probably why I chose G League over the NBL. I, think, I feel like it's got a better development program. You know, they're there to help you get to the NBA. They got the coaches in place. They're putting like veterans around you that you're going to be playing with. You know, I'm, I'm willing to take on whatever it takes to get there. You know, hopefully next year I'll be getting my name called for the NBA draft. Daniels with the crossover, keeps control, unbelievable Dyson Daniels. He's done his some kind of offensive move from Dyson Daniels. Daniels, spin move, right hand, teardrop is good to go. That is the class of a player who is set for big things. Stolen away by Daniels, finishes with the two hands. You know, I'm really looking forward to learning the NBA playing style and just adapting to like what American basketball is. I've just always been around basketball. My brother, who's uh, two years older than me, he grew up playing basketball as well. You know, growing up, we, we were we were very close. I'm um, competing in the backyard, you know, almost every day. Dad's, my dad's always been a uh, big on basketball. You know, he uh, he played college four years at NC State, and then he came over to Australia and played a lot of you know Victorian clubs in the Seville League. And, you know, got NBL looks and things like that. And what about Dash, your younger brother? Yeah, you know, he's um he's a bit younger than me. I mean, he's Five, five years younger. You know, as he turned like eight, nine, he, he was always wanting to get out in the um, backyard and compete against us as well. I wasn't the type to, you know, want to lose to my older brother, so I, I always went hard. And whenever I go home, he's, he's trying to get um, asked for a one v one drive beat. Me, so keep shutting him down, which forces him to, you know, get in the gym and work harder. But um, you know, he, he's he's learnt from that, and you know, he's coming through the ranks now as well, and you know, he's going to be a great player. Bendigo has been great to me, you know. I think growing up in like a smaller country town, is, it's benefited me a lot. You know, I'm, you know, the community really gets behind me, and I'm, you know, just like I said, I posted the, the announcement today, and the Bendigo community is like the sports mean I'm amazing, and I'm, you know, our family and friends are all getting around me. You know, being able to play for Bendigo basketball, one of the strongest you know, um, country clubs in Victoria, you know, um, it was an honour growing up, and then getting the um, call up to NBL one um, when I was 16 years old was really good as well. You know, school school basketball as well in Benigo. It's all helped me get to where I am today. My NBL one season at Bendigo. You know, I started off pretty good playing in that for a young guy, and then we um, played against the Centre of Excellence where I had a pretty good game. And um, you know, I think just going to some of the Oz camps and things like that, I've always had eyes on me from the Centre of Excellence and NBA Academy. And then, um, you know, during the, during the NBA One season, I was fortunate enough to receive a scholarship to the NBA Academy here in Canberra. And as soon as the NBA One season finished, flew over here and got to work. I, I've been here two years now, and, you know, the development that I've had here has been unreal. I was about 14, maybe 15 years old. Um, you know, I was 50-50 with my basketball and footy, but then I think I made the right choice to went with basketball, because I thought it was um, probably more of a strength to me. Play, I, I still got a lot of development in me. You know, growing up, I've always played against people older than me and being in men's leagues and things like that. And uh, I always want to beat the older kids and play against people older than me and you know take take challenges. Influence is a hard one. I think my playing style is a bit different. You know, I like to take bits and pieces from people's game. Russell Westbrook won't ever play just the mentality he has. I think John Morant, the way he gets in the paint, uses his little floater and um, athleticism to finish over bigs and things like that. Try to take some from there. And then defense is like, you know, I'm a bigger guard. Um, you know, like Ben Simmons, not as tall as him, but um, you know, he's been able to use my um, length and you know, agileness, you know, get steals and create offense from that. You know, I like to take bits and pieces from people's games. I, I wouldn't say I have one role model, but um, yeah, I think I've got a versatile game.
All our attention now is on this game. It's Victoria White taking on Queensland, where a gold medal spot is up for grabs. Ben Waterworth with you alongside Liam Ellison, who's jumping out of his skin for this game. Liam, this is going to be a cracking contest. Really looking forward to it. Yeah, it sure is, Ben. I'm pretty pumped and a couple of undefeated teams Coming into this one, Queensland and Victoria yet to lose a game. A couple of stars on both teams. Blake Jones for Queensland, Dyson Daniels. Absolutely looking forward to seeing Dyson Daniels go about his business. A guy got uh, some exposure in the green and gold a little bit earlier on this year. Daniels with the crossover. Keeps control. Unbelievable, Dyson Daniels. The defensive play comes up with this steal. And the composure on the fast break. I mean, it looked like he was just cruising up at his own pace. Made it look easy. He's a beautiful passer of The Rock, Dyson Daniels. Daniels draws a couple of defenders and then raising up. Really good off the glass. Take his points tally to 13. Behind the back goes Daniels twice. He works out to none, who's been hot from beyond the arc and he continues that form. Ample oh. confidence. How about Statman off the bench? And Queensland are well on top. This is a seriously good team we're watching. This Queensland outfit so well coached by Peter Crawford, making a first half statement. Daniels goes to work inside with the right hand fish. That is some kind of offensive move from Dyson Daniels. With this man on your team, Victoria are never out of it. Five to shoot here for Dan Daniels. He's going to put it up and he's going to score as well. Victoria really hustling up. They have not thrown in the white towel, undoubtedly. If they can just get a couple more buckets in a row, it'll be approaching a single-digit ball game. Anything can happen. None. Denied emphatically by Jones. So good in the low post. Daniels, got it by Legacy. Duach for three. Yes! <laughs> we are back to a 10-point game! Strong play there from Dingdon. Jones with the float up, backs it in off the last. Jones has been awesome. And the bench is going nuts and rightly so. Jones for three! That's a sweet dagger. In their home state, they are the title winners. They are ecstatic. That tournament, you know, that, that drove me even more to want to become better because you know, I hate losing. I think I had a pretty good tournament. I think it came third in the end. Yeah, the main thing is winning, but we, we couldn't do that, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, you know, Waratah League, it was great for us, you know, being young kids, being able to go play in a men's competition. You know, sometimes, sometimes it can be a bit um, boring just training all the time, not being able to play games, but you know, being able to play in Waratah, you know, just get some quality competition every week where we get to practice the skills that we do every day in training and um, put them in gameplay. It's really great for us as athletes. You know, I'm, I'm one of the older guys here and, you know, have, like you said, Terrace Buck and Alex too, and the, the young people come through. You know, it's been, it's been great to watch. And, um, like, I, I can see, like, people who come in here and how much better they get really quick with all the trainings. So, yeah, it's, it's good to see. You know, some of the games we have are really tough. You know, we're, we're like 8-0 right now, but some of the games we have are very tough. Yeah, we've got a lot out of work, at least. So, NBA G League, then NBA. I just want to hear a little bit more about like what your ambition is. Are you really ready to carry Australian basketball on your back? Like, do you think you're that? Um, I am. I'm, I'm ready to take on the challenge. You know, it's going to be a challenge. You know, it's not easy to, you know, um, make it to the NBA. You know, there's a lot of good basketballs out there, but I'm, yeah. I'm ready to take on the challenge. And then, you know, hopefully next year, um, I'll get, I'll be getting my name called at the NBA draft. You know. Hopefully high as well from the lotteries. So, you know, that'll, that'll be great. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm willing to take on whatever it takes to, you know, get there. 
I want to ask you a little bit about Australian basketball and where you think it's headed. Because like you said, you're right in the middle of it. You're seeing how this is all brewing. How excited are you for what Australian basketball is going to look like over the next few decades? And what do you think your role in that is? Yeah, I, I'm so excited, you know. I've seen I've seen it progress um, now. I've, I've seen some of the young guys coming through and, you know, there's amazing talent here in Australia and, you know, sometimes it doesn't get recognised. So that's why it's grateful to have, like, um, people like you and Oz Hoopers and things like that, you know, getting, getting very young, young talent out there. But yeah, seeing it come through, it's really, really amazing. Yeah, I think Australia's starting to become on the map even more. And, you know, like like the people coming through, like Giddies and those, and, you know, hopefully myself, which I'm trying to do, be a role model. Um, it's just going to get Australia looked at even more and, you know, give the younger kids an, an opportunity.